Ahoy mateys! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this motion and master smooth animation. Let's get started. So for this one, I'm going to use this magnifying glass. I downloaded it somewhere. I think it's from PNG Egg. This also has an old paper background. For this magnifying glass, I just placed it in the middle. This position where the magnifying glass is in the middle, this will be the second motion. For the first motion, let's put the magnifying glass below. So let's just skip 15 frames. 15 frames i pressed shift and arrow keys to move 15 frames and let's create a position and rotation keyframe and then let's go back to the first frame let's highlight the magnifying glass by pressing the motion and the object will be highlighted you can move the position here the vertical and horizontal but what's easier is you can just drag this under and now let's see the motion for now, I think it looks fine. The speed is just enough. And for the third motion, let's also put this below but to the other side. Let's move again. 15 frames. Press shift plus arrow keys to the right. 5, 10, 15. And let's again drag this under. And let's see the motion again. If you want it to pause here in the middle, you can just copy this keyframe and maybe move five frames like here copy this and paste it will pause right here in the middle but let's just remove it for now and use this motion instead what we're going to do now is apply an animation principle which is called the arc basically you want motion to not go on a straight path you want it to curve how are we going to do that as you can see here there are dots this one you can drag this to the right to make a curve and let's see the motion awesome as you can see it looks much better if there's an arc if there's a curve also for the third motion let's also make an arc by dragging the handle to the left cool to make the motion smoother we will adjust the graph to do that you have to click the drop down here in the position for the first keyframe right click Temporal interpolation, ease out. And then for the second keyframe, you will also see a handle here. To zoom in, drag this circle to the left and you will easily see the handle. Just drag this circle handle, drag it down and also to the left. It depends, you can drag this all the way to the left and let's see if that looks good. It's a bit fast, so what you can do there, maybe adjust this to 20 frames. Select the keyframes by using your left mouse key. Hold the control shift and then right arrow key. It will move again for 15 frames, I think, or 10 frames. Let's see. I think, yeah, that's 10 frames. And let's see the movement. So now it looks much smoother. Also for this third frame, Let's also drag this 20 frames. For this keyframe, right click, temporal interpolation, and choose ease in. And also drag this to the left to have this graph. You see, it's too fast. For this second keyframe, we could drag this down so it won't be that fast. Also adjust it. It's now too slow. Yeah, I think for now it looks good. I'll just show you how to add the motion blur by using the transform effect. Use the search bar here in the effects panel. Transform. In the distort folder, drag it to the magnifying glass. So it would be almost the same process. Just have to add the shutter angle here. You can make it to 180 or 360. It's not showing now because the keyframes are here in the motion. But if you add that motion here in the transform, you will have motion blur. And now to make this motion even better, we're going to add a rotation keyframe. As you can see here, the anchor point is not in the middle of the magnifying glass. But once we move the anchor point, the position also moves. So for now, let's just keep it that way. We're just going to follow the position of the keyframes here. And let's add a keyframe for rotation. For this one, I think move it to the right, 65. For the first keyframe, let's make it 0. 
while it's going up, it's moving to the right. While it's going down, think it would be nice to rotate it to the left. Let's make it negative 65 and let's see the movement. That looks nice. So we're also going to use the same technique here for the rotation keyframe. Select this first keyframe and select ease out. The middle is in. And drag this handle to the left. Okay, looking good. Ease in, right click, drag this to the left. To make the motion smoother, you have to make the line also look smooth. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content.